Throughout the sales process, we need to be responsive, we need to be attentive, and we need to demonstrate a commitment to helping the client find the best solution for their needs. And by doing that, we build a relationship with the customer, we build rapport, the customer trusts in us. Hi, Therese with Agency Performance Partners here to talk about selling umbrella insurance policies, cross-selling them specifically. So if I were to cross-sell an umbrella policy, somebody said to me, hey, Book of Business doesn't have enough umbrella policies, we need to sell more. I would go and run a list of every carrier that I had that had auto and home, no umbrella. I would start there, I would start quoting umbrellas, and I would start calling people and educating them on umbrella policies. So you want to talk about the why. You want to give the customer an educated reason on why they need an umbrella policy. So some of the examples would be extended liability coverage. So the umbrella policy would kick in when the limits of their underlying policies are exhausted. Uh, so if they faced larger liability claims that exceeded those limits, the umbrella policy would kick in and give them an extra cushion of protection. Uh, broad coverage, the under umbrella policies typically offer broader coverages than primary liability policies. Uh, they cover a more variety of risks, bodily injury, property damage, personal injury claims such as libel, slander, defamation, or invasion of privacy. They give higher limits. So an umbrella policy usually provides coverage in increments of $1 million, offering much higher liability limits than standard policies. This increased coverage can be crucial in situations where significant financial damages are at stake. I had a customer who basically worked in the financial industry. They could get a $2 million umbrella with the carrier that they were with, but they wanted 5,000. So we did an excess umbrella policy with a excess and surplus line. So umbrellas are also very cost effective. They're not really that expensive. So despite the higher coverage limits, the premiums for an umbrella policy are generally lower than the combined premiums of increasing the limits on the individual primary policies. Now, the requirements for underlying policies to qualify for an umbrella, you would typically have to increase their limits on their auto and their home policies. So you do need to educate them that those two policies would need those limits increased as well. And it makes sense if you're explaining to them that the umbrella would cover one million, you want to make sure that the auto and the property policies or any other policies they have, the liability on them is at the highest level. So then when it does kick over to the umbrella, the umbrella basically kicks in the million dollar ranges. So there's a wide range of coverage situations. Umbrella liability coverage can extend to various aspects of life, including home, rental properties, automobiles, boats, and more. It provides a seamless layer of protection across multiple areas where there is potential of liability. They will also pay for legal defense costs. So an umbrella policy often includes coverage for legal defense, uh, can be crucial as legal expenses can quickly add up in event of a lawsuit. The umbrella policy can also give peace of mind. One of the primary benefits of it is peace of mind, knowing that you have an extra layer of financial protection in case of a catastrophic event can prove to be a sense of security for the customer and their family. So when selling an umbrella policy to a client, consider the following aspects. Understand the customer's needs. You need to know what their needs are, what their lifestyle is, what their assets are, and what their potential liability risks are. You need to educate them on these liability risks, clearly explaining those risks, whether it be individual or business facing. Discuss scenarios where primary insurance coverage may fall short and emphasize the potential financial consequences being underinsured in any situation or in the event of a lawsuit. You don't want to be under underinsured when it comes to a lawsuit because then you would have to pay those financial costs. There are gaps in insurance, and sometimes the umbrella policies fill those gaps. So you need to understand the carriers, the policies, the base policies, the auto and the property, and the umbrella policy and how it picks up those additional costs in those gap areas. Umbrella policies, again, aren't that expensive. You need to emphasize the affordability of an umbrella policy relative to the increased coverage that they offer, provide cost comparisons. I used an example in the blog about uh, someone I know that got into mixing drinks. 
He basically loves to mix drinks and do things like bartending. He's not a bartender. It's just a hobby. He started having cocktail parties at his home. And I recommended that he definitely get an umbrella policy because you never know when somebody may drink too much and leave the home and he become liable if they were to get into an accident and drive drunk and get a DUI. They could basically come back on him. So he got an umbrella and it wasn't that expensive. It was about $180 a year. I mean, this is for someone who is young. He's about 23. So you might want to consider using examples. You yourself should have your own umbrella. So you understand the concept. You understand what an umbrella does. I personally have one. I have two children and um, both of them are driving age. So I just wanted to make sure that if something were to happen, that we would be covered adequately. Even young children can make mistakes and, and cause different liability risks. So you need to consider those. So you're customizing the coverage. You want to tailor the umbrella policy to meet the client's specific needs, discuss the flexibility in umbrella policy and how they can be customized to provide additional protection, uh, personal liability, business liability, or both. And like I said, use real life examples of umbrella coverages and how they would work. I also have a case where a client of mine, his daughter had a friend over and the daughter broke her arm. The medical payments would kick in if necessary. That's a whole different story. But he was, the parents were expecting him to pay all of the health in insurance, all the health costs uh, for that injury. And the insurance company kicked in, the claim was filed, and they went to do his legal defense and determined that the daughter's friend that was over for the sleepover actually was playing and fooling around. And that is why she broke her arm. It wasn't that she slipped and fell. It wasn't there was something in the house or something that they did to cause this injury. So the insurance company did pay for those legal costs for that through an umbrella policy. Address concerns and questions. Be prepared to address any concerns and questions the clients may have. Common concerns may include perceived complexity of the insurance policies. There's a need for such coverage or the cost. Clarify and provide straightforward answers. Again, emphasize the peace of mind that a policy like this will provide to the customer. So in the blog, you will also find different scripts you can use for objections they may have, but make sure that you're providing excellent customer service. We have to remember that throughout the sales process, we need to be responsive, we need to be attentive, and we need to demonstrate a commitment to helping the client find the best solution for their needs. And by doing that, we build a relationship with the customer, we build rapport, the customer trusts in us, and there's an enhanced likelihood that you'll sell the policy and that the customer will stay and you'll have a higher retention rate. So after the sale, make sure you're following up with the client periodically, ensuring that their needs are being met, address any changes in their circumstances that might necessitate adjustments to the policy. So combine these strategies and you can effectively communicate the value of an umbrella liability policy and help clients make informed decisions to protect themselves and their assets. So good luck out there selling those umbrella policies. Cross-selling umbrella policies is very important. Life insurance as well. And we do have a blog about that as well in the month of January 2024. So make sure that you are reading through, getting these scripts and doing your best to explain these coverages as they're important for our customers to have. Wow Customer Service is all about building rapport, building relationships with our customers and making sure that their needs are met and that we're customizing plans for them and their lifestyle and their family. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.